And it is 651. Here is your top seven before seven. First off, John Scalzi's first alert weather forecast. So clearly everything revolves around a tropical system down to our south and what its impact will have on our weather. Well, the good news is that this tropical system stays well offshore of the state of Florida, certainly the west coast of Florida, and so its impact on us is really kind of peripheral. We'll see showers being pushed in, moisture being pushed into the sun coast by the circulation around the system, and we could get some gusty afternoon showers and thunderstorms. In addition to that, some of the thunderstorms could produce some heavy rainfall, but they'll be fast moving storms, so the likelihood of the heavy rainfall is perhaps not all that great. Uh, the severe thunderstorm potential, that's a possibility. About a 2% risk, according to the Storm Prediction Center, of seeing some storms that produce either water spouts or brief short-lived tornadoes. So we'll watch for that too, particularly in the second half of the day. It's a great day to have your first alert weather app along with you. Back to you. Good idea. Thank you, John. Checking the roads right now. You won't see much problem today. It's a holiday after all. The schools are closed and Government offices are closed as well. There's the current scene right now in Manatee County, and we'll just peek into the northern half also of Sarasota County. All clear at 653 on this Labor Day morning. And number three on this Labor Day, state troopers will be out in force on the roads. The goal to crack down on drunk drivers and keep you safe this holiday. Number four, lightning is suspected in this house fire over the weekend that gutted a mobile home in Englewood. Wow, damage there. Luckily, the couple who lives there was not home at the time of the fire. Number five, Florida Fish and Wildlife has put in a temporary order that both snook and redfish are catch and release right now due to all the red tide in the area. Now, that order is going to run through September 26. Number six now, five Manatee High School students are off of the Far East for a competition. They're going to Singapore with their small model of a race car. They're going to compete against 51 teams from 23 countries. Way to go, local kids. Very well done. And number seven, what's trending? Well, some new research from the University of Toronto that's found that it's not such a bad thing if your child lies. Now, they tested these two groups of kids playing a game of hide and seek. One group was told that if they lied or tricked the grown up playing with them, they got a treat. <sighs> Then they tested the kids that did decide to lie and found out they have higher cognitive skills mm. than the other kids. Now, another interesting side note, the research found, how early would you think that kids learn to lie? What I heard age? you say. Oh, fine, both yeah. cheaters. I, if I didn't know better, I would say 12. That's what I, I thought later, but actually this research found that kids have the ability to, to lie as early as two years old. Mm -hmm. And what they think is that when they use their brains to lie, they're sort of creating an alternate reality, and so it, they have higher cognitive skills. Hmm. 